etymology roots prefixes and suffixes presented by me shruti dikshit now learning words has been a difficult task for students cramming each and word separately makes it boring so to make it more interesting and easy for students i have tried this method this method teaches students about the different builder blocks that make word roots are the main part of the word roots are the main part of the word and prefixes are fixed before suffixes are that block of the word which is fixed after the order may differ it is not necessary that we'll have a root and a prefix and a suffix in a word but it can be any we can have two roots and a suffix one prefix and a root or some other ways also when we come to introduction of the chapter it deals with the history and origin of words now basically uh, words have been in have been taken into english language from different languages mainly latin or greek and now from many other sources but here we'll be studying such roots or such blocks of the word which will be related to many other languages etymology helps us in building the vocabulary which is very basic if we understand to analyze words then it's easier for us to frame words so we can make words instead of learning them so that is how it becomes very quickest way to improve word power now first of all we'll be dealing with prefixes which are the very important key to word power prefixes or prefix is that part of the word which may be of a letter or a group of letters which is placed before a root or a word to change its meaning so not necessary that it will be just one word or a group of letters but learning the meanings of important prefixes becomes very important important sometimes the same building block may fit into two different categories now i'll give you an example of the word latin word bene ben bene means well and good now this can be fixed to many other words to change the meaning first of all benefactor means a person who does good beneficiary benefit or benevolent next we come to the types of prefixes now the first group of prefixes that is framed comes from a very important source latin and greek words that have the meaning of english english prepositions for example anti anti means before as in anti chamber that is a room coming before or anterior that that is shown before next root that we can next prefix that we have on our card is circum circum means around the word that is made with it is circumvent means to go around or to avoid one more word that we can have with the same prefix is circumference next prefix that is of importance is com it means together or with now this can be used in combine which means a close union or composition can be framed with the same prefix intra is another word another prefix 
which is meaning within or inside of and a word frame with it is intramural it means situated within the limits of a city next we come to sub as in substandard meaning below the standard subway is another word that we can frame with the same prefix so when we see a repetition of prefix that particular block in a word we come to understand immediately that the meaning of that prefix will be the same as stated above another prefix that we take up is super now super means above in position superstructure is one word that can be framed with it superstition another but the meaning will be the same of the prefix change bringing an important change in a newly framed word ultra is next prefix which means on the other side of or beyond as in ultra modern one more word that we can frame with ultra is ultraviolet next we come to second group of prefixes which have negative meaning the very first prefix with a negative meaning is disease dis as in disease it means state of being not at ease or illness next prefix we take up is in now in has two meanings but here right now we'll be dealing with in as not as in incapable means not capable next uh, next one we come to is mal mall as in malfunction means failure to function properly one more prefix with a negative meaning is miss as in misinform meaning inform incorrectly misconception is another word that can be framed with it now non again has a negative meaning means not a word framed here is non flammable it means that it cannot catch fire very easily next category of prefixes deals with the amount number or degree for example mb mb means able to use both hands both so mb dexterous a person who can use both hands skillfully and equally by stands for two by means two a word framed is by cupid which means having two points now hypo as in hypothyroidism means a condition in which thyroid gland is underactive so a hypo is for under and in contrast we come to hyper as in hypercritical meaning overly critical or excessively fault finding last and fourth group of prefixes consists of common english words such as extra as in extraordinary out as in outspoken over as in overweight or overconfident under as in underprivileged etc so with this we come to the end of this chapter the very introductory chapter i'll be bringing you more and more prefixes roots and suffixes with their meanings and more words thank you